Hello again everyone and welcome back. Since Madden 24 is winding down here, I figured as a follow up to my what are your goals for Madden 25 video, I'd come out with two more videos. The first video is going to be this one and it's going to be called why Madden 24 was actually good. The next video is going to be called why Madden 24 actually sucked. So for this video, let's talk about most of the good. First off, the blocking albeit still broken, was much improved this year. Almost all of the meta blitzes were able to be picked up with pretty simple adjustments like slide protecting right and blocking your halfback, being able to pick up probably 80-85% plus of the blitzes. Also, the run blocking was much improved compared to previous Maddens, with linemen actually targeting their assignments at least better than before, and downfield blocking at least being somewhat effective, I actually found myself this year, probably more than any other year in recent Madden history at least, actually able to read and follow blocks. So overall, I think that's a win for EA. Next is RPOs. RPOs have really changed the game this year. Yes, they're overpowered, but the newfound effectiveness of RPOs has allowed lesser skilled players to have a quick competitive, I guess, assist that helps keep players at least better players honest with their defenses. And the RPOs really have helped out advanced players too, you guys. Again, keeping defenses honest and not able to load up with coverage because those RPOs always have to be accounted for. It's just added a new dimension to the game that has honestly been missing for a while. And it's made the game, I think overall more enjoyable. Too overpowered? Yeah, for sure. But they're headed in the right direction. And I hope that they get it right with this year's Madden. This is probably gonna be a little controversial, but I feel like we had the most control in regard to player movement this season since probably Madden 16. The player movement felt responsive, but not arcadey, at least for the most part, with players having to sort of decelerate and then re-accelerate when they're making cuts or moves. The routes seemed to actually cut well and move pretty dang accurately, and better receivers actually seemed to run their routes better, at least a decent amount of the time. Quarterbacks could scramble again, and aside from that rollout glitch, it was nice to actually be able to scramble out of a decaying pocket to buy yourself some extra time. And running was excellent this year. The running backs didn't feel as sort of invisible as in the past, and the juke move really caused fits for defenders. Overall, I feel like the player movement was just really good this year. Next, we're gonna talk about game stability and presentation. I'll have to say that the game this year felt more stable. I'm not talking about Mutt, I'm talking about the game itself in general. I rarely had any game crashing problems other than maybe getting kicked offline once in a while. I never had a franchise file get corrupted and overall the game just felt more organized and stable this year. And let's be real, Madden looked really good this year. Sure, there were some legacy issues, but not nearly like what we've had in the past. The overall presentation of in-game menus was pretty dang good, and the overall sleekness of the game broadcast itself was actually, it was pretty captivating. I think it was a big improvement from Madden's 21, 22, and for sure there wasn't nearly as much bloat as in Madden 23. The game just looked really awesome, and watching videos on YouTube this season, it almost looked too realistic at times. There's still a long way to go in terms of menu organization and delay, but the look, I think overall was excellent this year. Next, let's talk about adjustments. Adjustments felt really crisp this year, and they, and they had a major impact on the game. I, I, I felt like the, the, the most powerful in terms of adjustments this year than I ever have before. And probably since Madden 16, I just felt like I was in complete control on defense. I felt like I could shut a lot of players down this year, making adjustments way more than in the past. And for the zones like the cloud flats that, that didn't work this year, at least we were able to figure out workarounds that actually were pretty effective. Overall, even though this was an offensive game this year, I feel like defense really made a comeback. And a large part of that was because of the effectiveness of adjustments. And another reason why defense felt like it made a comeback this year was the pass rush. The pass rush really felt good this year, and being able to generate heat with a four-man rush felt the most realistic it's felt in a long time. 
I really enjoyed knowing that if I rushed four, it would generally give me more heat than if I rushed three or even two. I mean, remember back in Madden 21 when you'd actually get a better pass rush rushing three instead of four, and, and sometimes even just rushing two? It was ridiculous, and it made the game not football, and it took all the fun out of it, at least competitively. This year, that pass rush really made it feel like football, and it made defensive ends and defensive tackles actually viable. And speaking of viable, linebackers made a comeback this year. While I know it was because of the Lurk Artist capability, I know that, it was still super awesome to be able to actually use a linebacker and to fill your team up with stud linebackers. This was possibly the main reason that I hadn't played Mutt since Madden 21. Worst thing EA ever did was nerf linebackers. It, at least nerf them so badly that they became actual liabilities, right? And this year, linebackers kind of stole the show. So honestly, hats off to EA on this one. Limited glitches. So I'll have to hand it to EA this year. I think the glitches have been limited. Remember back in Madden 18 when the entire MCS was dominated by three yards and a cloud of dust with that unstoppable single back, deuce close, halfback dive thing? I'm sure everybody can remember pretty much every year having some ridiculous game glitch or set of glitches that EA had to outlaw in the MCS or that actually showed up in a blatantly obvious and frankly pretty humiliating way during the tournaments, right? This year, even though there are annoying glitches, I think EA did a pretty good job at limiting them and making competitive Madden actually feel more competitive than in recent years past. There's still a long way to go, but this year was an improvement. And in terms of overall fun, I have to say the biggest litmus test for a game is honestly, is it fun overall to play? And I have to say that this year, Madden 24 is probably the most fun I've had with Madden since Madden 16. Just overall, it was a far more engaging and fun experience than certainly than Madden 23 and, and other more recent Maddens. I actually looked forward to loading Madden, loading Madden up most of the time instead of sitting there debating and trying to decide if I wanted to punish myself by loading that stupid game up or maybe just going to play in 2K or MLB instead. This year, I didn't even play 2K because Madden was so much more fun. Now let's be honest here. Even though I do think that Madden was a much better game this year, you guys, making this video was much harder than making the Why Madden 24 Actually Sucks video, right? The Madden 24 Sucks video, I have to admit, I had to limit what I said because the video would have taken too damn long and I don't, I, I didn't even have to think about the negative things. They just rolled off the tongue. Making this video about how Madden 24 was actually good this year, you guys, I even had to change the word to good in the title because great just did not seem right. It felt wrong. But overall, I think Madden was a lot more fun this year. It was a lot more interesting. And I think that it was just a much more enjoyable Madden experience than in the past several years. Let me know what you guys think, okay? I want to see in the comments, you know, what you think were the good points of Madden this year and if, if you actually thought the game was good. Be on the lookout for the counterpoint to this video, which is going to be coming out here in just a few days. And as always, have a great day.